course, they can they can do any kind of any sort of behavior that they want. No consequences. Right. There are no it. consequences because it's God doing it. It's not you doing it. It's God doing it. <laughs> this is the sickest. Absolutely the sickest. You know, it's so sad. It's so sick. It's so ill to have that out there like that. Absolutely sick, absolutely ill. And the ones in oneness that, you know, when they're in that high of that bliss state and it's like a drug, they are not benefiting humanity at all by what they're saying. And yet they think they're giving such big revelation to humanity that's going to save them. All you have to do is proclaim to be in that one. And I, I've had this revelation. Well, fine, for you, you're in that oneness and you're in that high state and that bliss state, which is like a drug. That's like a heroin addict in the midst of his heroine's, you know, delusions saying that it's all fabulous. All one has to do is be on heroin all the time. You know, but eventually you're going to come down. You know, or you're going to move forward out of that oneness into clarity uh, when it all falls away and dismantles. And this is the problem, you know. It, it sounds so wonderful and they're on this big high, but that's not realization. They want to think it is, but it's not realization. And this can be, you know, they, they, they think that this message is so liberating because in their world things have become so expansive and all, all I see is all the perfection underneath everything. I just see all perfection everywhere. Well, and somebody's in a thing that's getting beat, somebody's getting raped, somebody's getting murdered, somebody's getting there. That is not that perfection. There is something that can be changed. Yes, underneath of it is the ultimate perfection, but you can't say that act is perfection. And to do so gives no chance for change. No chance for, for anything to take place to rectify that. So that's like in the, you know, in, in their mental thing, you know, they're on this bliss high mountain. And they have no cognition of the suffering of humanity. Or, or, it, seems, seem, or it seems like confusion. <laughs> it is a confusion, you know. It's a divine confusion in that moment. You know, it is like a drug. It's a very strong drug, and this is why it's the last sheath to go beyond the, the sheath of Anand. They don't believe me? Read the texts. Read the texts. Wake up. There's something to go beyond that. And that's the one that really people get caught at, that, that last sheath of, of Anand and bliss state. And it's a tough one to come out of. It's a tough one to go beyond because it's, it's so intoxicating. I'm one with God, and God is all the world, and it's all, you know, it's all blissful, it's all peaceful, it's all perfect, it's all, you know, and, it, and this is the big one, the stumbling block, and where comes that spiritualized ego, that cosmic ego. It's all one. No, there is no it's all in one. When it falls and dismantles. But when it's truly fallen and dismantled, no realized being is just going to say it's one and it, and it doesn't matter and the, the suffering doesn't matter. They're not going to be, you know, blind to what's there. Doesn't mean the eyes don't register the, the you know, the changing world. It does. But there's no mental confusion about it. For this one, there is no suffering. In the reality, there is no suffering. But you can't say that projection of unreality and delusions does not exist. 
it exists for for you know for those that are remaining in that spin you can't throw away, away the baby with the bathwater which is what they want to do you can't do that because that's not clarity that's being in denial that's running another mental game they don't want to think it is but the mind is still spinning So anyway, thank you very much because uh, this gave an opening for to talk about this, you know. <laughs> it just came out very nicely. <laughs> so it gives an opening to talk about it, frankly.